Okay, welcome everyone uh, to Fun in the Sun Week. I'm Roseanne and we're gonna do some art today. So our first project is printing with fruit. So I have a lemon I cut in half. What color is that? Yellow. I have a lime that I cut in half. That's green. I have another piece of lime that I cut in half and then I cut again. That's called a quarter of a lime. And then I have a little clementine that I cut in half. And what color is that? Orange. So we have our fruit and I like to mm, give it a smell. Mmm, smells so fresh. And then we're gonna get some paint. Let me move this back so you can see. Okay, so I have a plate. I put some foil on it. You can use a paper plate, you can use a tray, whatever you wanna put your paint on. And I'm gonna mix some colors today. So I have some blue paint. And I'm gonna put a little blue on there like that. And then I'm gonna mix some yellow paint and let's see what happens when we mix them together. Stir and stir. Ooh, it's making green. Yellow and blue make green. So if you don't have any green paint, you can mix those together and make green. So I'm gonna use that for my lime. And then let's get another color ready. I'm gonna put some yellow for the lemon. Just a little scoop. You can spread it a little a bit like that. And then I wanna make some orange for my clementine. So I'm gonna get some more yellow paint and put a little scoop and then I'm gonna use some red paint and let's see if we can make orange. And if you already have orange, you can just put that on your plate and get it ready. Scoop it around. Oh, we might need some more yellow in there. And if you don't want to use these colors, you can use whatever colors you want. It's your project. That's kind of a good orange. Okay. And then I'm going to do one more color. I'm going to do pink because I like pink. Let me get my pink paint. Spread it around. All right, okay, so now we have our paints ready. And then you're gonna take your fruit and you're gonna put it in the paint like this. Press it down and have my paper ready. So we're gonna press the fruit into the paint and lift it up with our strong fingers and then press it down on the paper. Let's see. Ooh, it made a big circle. Look at that. And then I'm gonna get my lemon. Let's try the yellow. And this is called stamping. When you just press it down in one spot, you can hold it for a second and then lift it straight up. Ooh, look at my lemon print. And then I'm gonna get my clementine and get some orange paint. Mm, let's see how it comes out. Press it down, lift it up. Woo, look at that. And you can do them all over your paper. I'm gonna get, ooh, let's try the pink paint. Press it down. And then, ooh, maybe I'll overlap. I'll put part of it over the yellow part. Wow, look at that. 
And you can do it all over your paper. I'm gonna try my quarter piece of lime and see how that comes out. Press it in. Get some nice paint on there. Woo! And I think you can do it a couple times. One, two, three, four. Wow, look at that! This is so fun. So keep going. You can do a couple circles connected. Let me get another lemon. I'm gonna put that there. Oh, I see you doing it at home too. Good job, friends. Put an orange one over here. Look at everyone printing. And you can fill up your whole paper if you want. And then you can do it all over again. You can do it as many times as you want if you still have paint left. And this project's fun because it's just about having fun and seeing what happens. Get some more yellow. I wonder if I put the yellow over the green, what will happen? Ooh, it mixes the colors. So you can do a lot of testing with this too. Wow, what a fun summer picture with our fruit. Look at that. And this is also fun to do with other fruit. I just did citrus fruit. But if you have strawberries at home, you can try cutting those in half. You could try apples. Hmm, what else could we try? A tomato, that might be squishy. But you can see what you have at home and try other things too. So that is our first project. You guys can keep working or you can join me on the next one. So for our next project, we're gonna make popsicle collages. So what I did is I had this big piece of cardboard from a package I got and I drew the shape of a popsicle on it and then I cut it out over here. So then you have a popsicle shape left. Now I like bright colored popsicles so I'm gonna use some red paper to cover it. So I think if I fold this in half I can get enough paper to cover both sides. Let's see. Line it up. I think it'll just work. So I'm gonna get a marker and trace the cardboard shape onto the paper like this. And then I'm gonna leave it folded and get my scissors and cut it out. And if you're still printing, that's okay. I'm gonna post this on YouTube after. So if you wanna work on that and do this later, you can do that. I know I'm doing a lot of things today. Okay, so now I have two pieces. I'm gonna glue down one side. So I have a glue bottle. If you have a squeezy glue or a glue stick, those work great too. I'm going to spread it all over the cardboard so it sticks really good. And sometimes that takes a little bit of time, but that's okay. We can take our time. Okay, now I'm going to glue the paper onto it and rub it, rub it, rub it, rub it all over. And look. I have a red popsicle. So then we're gonna decorate it. So I have some different things here. Let me show you up close. I have pom poms. I have some scrap, scrap looking paper. I have these little pieces of decorated cardboard I had from something else. I have some stickers. 
some little foam shapes, some little colored squares, some sequins. And if you don't have these at home, you can look around your house and see what you have handy. Maybe you have some buttons you've saved. Maybe you have some fun wrapping paper that you can cut up into pieces or some yarn. You can find whatever you have around your house and use that too if you don't have the same things. And then I'm just gonna put some glue. Well, I'm gonna put a pom-pom. I'm gonna count to five so it sticks really good. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm gonna glue. Hmm, what are I gonna put next? Let's see. Maybe I'll put my purple rectangle over here. Hmm. Put some more glue. And I have these little flower sequins. Glue that down. I'm gonna take this fun paper and maybe I'll cut out, let me see if I just snip it like this. Oh, I have a triangle. Glue that on there. Oh, let me do some stickers. Put one over there. And one up here. And I'm gonna take, let's see, I have this fun cardboard. I'll cut some pieces of that out. And you can have a grown up help you too if it's a little tricky cutting things out. If you need some help. So you can decorate it as much as you want. Put one more piece on mine. And there's our collage. And then I have a big craft stick to glue for the stick part. If you don't have a craft stick, maybe you can cut out um, a long piece of cardboard or if you have a paint stirrer in your garage, those work really good too. And then I'm gonna put this on the back put some glue on there. I'm gonna put it like that in the middle. Like that. And then you can take your other piece of paper and glue it to the back. So we're gonna spread that around. Remember, cover the whole thing so it sticks really good. All right, let's see. I'm gonna glue that side on. Woo, look at that fun popsicle. So you can glue, you can decorate both sides if you want. Two-sided project. All right, so that is our popsicle collage. Let me wipe some of this glue off my table. All right, for our last project today, we're gonna do something I've never done before, but it looks really fun. It's called salad spinner art. So, if you have a salad spinner at home, you can use that and you're gonna open it up. And then I cut some shaped paper to go inside that fits in the basket, okay? So then you're gonna put that inside and then you're gonna put some paint on top of it. So I'm gonna scoop it with my spoon and I'm just gonna make a blob of paint on there. I'm not gonna spread it around or anything. I'm just gonna drop it in. And make sure if you're doing this at home that you have tempera washable paint. Because if you use acrylic paint, it might stain up your salad spinner and you might not be able to clean it off. So I have very washable paint here that I'm using. So it's easy to clean. 
So I'll do three colors. Let me see if I could show you how that looks. That. And then you're gonna put the lid on top. And mine has a big button on top. So I'm gonna it down. Let it spin. Ooh, it went all off the sides. Let's see. I'm gonna add some more paint. I'm gonna put some in the middle and see what happens. This is fun, it's like an experiment. You can keep going back and adding more. I'll just put some red and see what happens. Go one, two, three. And on the top, hmm, I'm gonna add some more blue. And maybe some more yellow. This is fun. One more time, here we go. Whoa, this is so cool. Look how fun, it's spreading the paint. All right, let's try again. I'm gonna get my circle. Let's see what happens with my circle. I'm gonna get some red. Some blue. Hmm, maybe I'll pile them all on top of each other like a big puddle of paint. Some yellow. All right. Let me show you how it looks before. So I have a big puddle like that. Let's put our lid on. Here we go. Whoa, it all ran off that side. Look at that. This is so silly. Let me put some on the other side. Whoop. You can make your paper whatever shape you want. One more time. Ooh, it kind of looks like a face. Hello. <laughs> All right, my friends, that is all I have for today. I hope you had fun doing these projects with me. And if you didn't have time, if you're still working on the lemons or if you're still doing the popsicle, I'm going to put it right onto YouTube so you can go back and do those projects later. Okay? And I'll see you next week. Oh, I see some projects up there. Good job. All right, have a good day, friends. Bye.